It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show. It is our mission, our duty to try to bring you some news that you could use. Today is no exception to the rule. You can follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our website is obnradio.com. And in case you have one of those smart devices, you can always say, hey, Play the latest episode of the Mike Prince Show. And just like that, you will have everything that you need. And with all that being established, let us jump into today's episode. We know that the basketball season is upon us. Men and women will do action on Saturday from Montgomery, Alabama, as they'll be taking on the Alabama State Hornets. Women will tip off at 3.30 Central Standard Time. You can listen to that game right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Go to the website at obenradio.com. Click on the Listen Live Stream. and Just like that, you'll have everything that you need. If you're on the go, you can simply dial 857-777-0000 and have the game at your fingertips as well. Well, Football season is officially done as far as college is concerned, but there was a big college coaches, uh, I guess, convention in Charlotte past week, and some reports and things are coming back. One thing that we do have confirmation on is that the Panthers are going to be in search of a new defensive coordinator, Todd Middleton will no longer be with the Panthers in the position of defensive coordinator. In fact, he's leaving the program all together. So we'll find out exactly who will end up replacing him. There have been the process of interviewing, kicking the tires within and abroad to see who will be the next defensive coordinator for the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. So it'll be very interesting to see which route they go in that manner. Also, you're going to have to see how the portal and late signees will come out. Over 3,000 football players alone in the transfer portal. That's an awful lot, an awful lot to try to comprehend in so many availabilities and not many vacancies to fill. So it's always that old saying, you want to bet on yourself. And unfortunately, a lot of these guys are going to come up a little bit short. But we'll see how the Panthers restock and reload for the 2023 season. Now, I do want to remind you guys, on Saturdays, we have the SWAC Zone. The SWAC Zone is being released at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And part of the discussion, not in full detail, but we'll continue to have to open and peel the layers back as we develop, about the state of the NCAA and how they're systematically, at least on the surface, appear that they're trying to weed out who will and will not maintain D1 status. There'll be some mandates being positioned to vote on where they're going to possibly extend the or extend the baseball uh, staff. You have volunteers. They're going to now require that those become full-time positions. They've been pushing for 22 scholarships for the longest. Also mandate on the required number of staff members that you would have available to maintain a certain D1 status as far as uh, stability from top to bottom. And all of these things are going to require money. We know that we've been stating for many seasons, many moons, that finances are a challenge. That is a reality challenge for not just HBCUs, but FCS programs abroad. Never can tell 
what the next turn is going to be when in regards of the NCAA. So it had me to look in the mirror and ask the question. And I'm la- leaving this one basically on the doorstep of Prairie View. I can't speak for all HBCUs. But the average financial budget for FCS, the average minimum, I should say, financial budget for FCS programs are between 12 and $14 million per year. That's minimum. Depending on who you ask, on what time of the year you ask, the per review budget is between 12 million and 15 million. There's always a little gray area when it comes to what the actual number is. That is minimal requirements. Just on projection alone, with the mandates that the NCAA are proposing for those to maintain and keep the status of D1 as far as athletics are concerned, you're going to easily be in the range of 15 to 20 million dollars annually minimum and I'm stressing the word minimum is this something that Prairie View can afford and when I say afford you know there's no saying that I normally used to give the people just because you can afford the car notes don't mean you can afford the car You have to be able to maintain the car. You have to make sure that the necessary maintenance and everything and properly rotating the tires, all of these things that go and require of owning that vehicle. Is Prairie View in the position to maintain the status of Division One? And if not, is it time for Prairie Review to possibly reconsider going down. I stated D2 the other day. Um, the question was asked, well, what conference would they play in? The challenge of approximately uh, locations of, of, of D2 schools in the state of Texas. A little data that we've taken, I think it's like 13 Division II schools in the state of Texas. And that scale changes up or down depending on who you're asking and what's going on. You got schools that were D2, now D1, now going to FBS. It's all over the place. Do you go to D3? If you go to D3, you eliminate scholarships and this, that, and the other. It's all based on academia. Do you dare go to NAIA? No can tell. We don't know. But if you want to stay on Division I level, there's going to have to be a much more, let's say, focus of commitment financially on the D1 scale. That's going to be mainly with staffing. Facilities, okay, we're there for the most part. But when you talk about staffing, training tables the rate of travel all of these things and we got to make money with people filling these seats in these stadiums in these gymnasiums it's a lot to weigh out and the question is do we have what it takes to weigh that out do we continually go and stay on this journey of D1. If you're PV Nation, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think about this and how you feel about everything that's going on. It's a lot to consider, but if anybody can, PV can. Whichever way they decide to go, the opportunity is there. And speaking of our opportunities that are there, I'm going to take a quick break. And when we come back, I guess I'll try to make my stab at this weekend's divisional playoffs. I went five of six last week. I don't know. This one's going to get a little bit more challenging, but we'll give it an old try. How about that? Or the old PV effort. How about that? 
I'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're listening to The Mike Prince Show here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We are the station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. We are located in Prairie View, Texas, where we are dedicated to serving the local community with sporting events, church services, and information. You're invited to tune in and to join us each Sunday morning for Temple of Refuge Ministries live broadcast, Building the Kingdom One Soul at a Time, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Central Time. Each Monday through Friday, tune in to hear the Mike Prince Show as he covers the world of HBCU sports and beyond. This show has been the driving force for daily information when it comes to HBCU athletics. And tune in to listen to the Swag Zone each Saturday mornings. The Open Mic Broadcast Network covers Little League, high school, and college athletics. We also broadcast local community parades and events. And you can check us out on YouTube for our latest content. If you would like to help us support our broadcast, you may do so by making a donation at www.obnradio.com. We are the station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. And welcome back to the Mike Prince Show here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Don't forget to join us on Saturday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time for the SWAC Zone. We have Coach Van Petaway. We're going to also have a feature this weekend. It's Donna Glover and DG Sports. So be sure to check that out Saturday morning, 9 a.m., Central Standard Time. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Click the bell notification. That way you'll be abreast of everything that is flowing here from the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And speaking of flowing, I was pretty on last week. Did miss one. I had the Bucks victorious over the Cowboys. And obviously, I didn't get that one. So now we advance to this divisional rounds and not in any particular order. But the matchups will be Philadelphia taking on the Giants. I'm going to ride with the Eagles on that one. You have the Cowboys and the 49ers. I have the 49ers in that one. In the AFC, you have the Bengals and the Beals. And I am going to ride with the Beals on that one. And the other AFC game will have the Jags and the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, this is almost a no-brainer. I like the wave that the Jags are on, but Kansas City should win that game. So I guess my AFC and NFC matchups will have the Niners and the Eagles for the NFC and the Chiefs and the Bills for the AFC. If that holds up, I guess we have to determine next week and who will be heading to the Super Bowl. It's always fun. Always action all around the clock. Speaking of action, don't forget, Saturday... 3.30 3.30 Central Standard Time. Prairie View a University women's basketball will be taking on Alabama State. And approximately 30 minutes at the conclusion of that one, we will have the men's version on the hardwood. I want to thank you guys so much for joining in with us each week. We do appreciate you. Can't get it done without you. 
want to remind you guys to share that the Open Mic Broadcast Network is open for business each and every day. We have the Mike Prince Show, the SWAC Zone, DG Sports, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Bible Studies and Sermons, Coach Petaway, and a whole lot more. I told you guys, we're just getting started. But for right now, I must exit stage left. My time is far spent. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you guys so much for joining in with us. Don't forget, follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. And until the next time, you guys be blessed and we'll see you on the other side.